artists today we talked a little bit about the color monster and how color can help to communicate different emotions we are going to start making your color monsters and what we need to do first is trace all these little different pieces and parts of the color monster so you're going to get a piece of tag board from the drive through and you're going to put your color monster pieces and parts and trace them on now do you notice how i laid this first body big chunk on my paper and I'm trying to get it as close to the edge as I can. Your tag board isn't very big so artists you have to be really careful with the space so that you can fit all of these little different pieces and parts on one piece of tag board. So using my pencil and going around the outside of my monster's body and now I need to do two eyes, the mouth, two teeth, legs. Let's see, maybe if I put one like this and one like that. Arms and eyebrows. Notice how I am able to fit all of these different pieces and parts on one piece of tag board. If you think about it, if you're careful, I'm sure you can as well. You need to trace each of these little different pieces and parts, and then we will talk about paint. All right, all of my pieces and parts have been traced out on my piece of tag board. Now, the mouth is something that's very descriptive just like color and communicating emotion so if you would like to draw a different mouth than mine that's fine I just am using this straight line because I think it could be a good mouth that could mean lots of different things I am ready to paint now and I have thought a little bit about the color and the emotion that I would like to show to me purple is a happy color I am going to use purple for my happy monster and I'm going to paint each piece and part of my monster purple and I'm doing really good craftsmanship and trying to stay in those lines. If I go out a little bit, it's not such a big deal because I'm gonna end up cutting these out, okay? So start to fill in your colored monster with one color from the rainbow. Dipping my ballerina brush in, painting back and forth, back and forth, making sure that I'm using good craftsmanship and good painting technique. I'm gonna paint in each of these different shapes, but am I gonna paint in the eyes? Nope, the eyes get to stay white. Am I gonna be painting in teeth? Nope, the teeth get to stay white. Other than the eyes and the teeth, my love monster needs to get painted purple on every other piece and part. All right, my monster's body arms legs eyebrows and mouth have been painted in and we talked a little bit about how we can add texture visual texture to our monster today by adding some light and dark colors so while that paint is still wet i wash up my brush by swishing it side to side bouncing up and down in my cup if it drips wipe it on the lip or on a towel and i can dip the tippy toe of my brush in the white and with that white, I'm just doing little dashes. I want my monster to look like he's got kind of like furry hair. So I'm doing these little dashes of white paint. I'm gonna fill up my monster with little dashes of white. And then I'm gonna wash out my brush and fill in with little dashes of black. So I have both light marks and dark marks. I'm adding some variety and texture to my monster by adding tints and shades. So washing out my brush and switching to black. Now if I do too many dashes and I cover up all of my purple, that's not going to look so good. So make sure you just do enough so that my monster looks like it's got texture, but that we can still see the other details. All right. Now I talked about how you're not going to paint in the eyes, right? Because they are um, white, but you could use your ballerina brush and do a little black outline, a skinny line right around the edge. 
You could also maybe do a skinny little line around the teeth just so that they're going to stand out really well when we go to cut them out and collage back together. You could add a little dot in the middle for a pupil. And I think I'm going to add a line really skinny in the middle of the mouth too. All right, I am gonna add fur to both my body, my legs, my arms, and my eyebrows. When that is done, they're great. It's gonna go into the drying rack flat like a lunch tray, as low as you can go. And you know what I forgot on the back of my paper before I painted? My name and class code. Don't forget your name and class code for that too, so we know whose monster you have. 